Insta361RS Review The Insta361RS offers an updated modular action camera, with enhanced image quality and an optimized workflow when compared with its predecessor. The small screen may be a bit of a disappointment, however, the 1RS affordability makes it a great alternative to similar GoPro models, especially if you are looking for versatile options. To begin, we won't assume any prior knowledge of the original Insta361R given how the two cameras resemble each other. The Insta361RS is composed of three parts. The base block serves as the foundation for the camera, containing the battery and providing a Lego-like fitment into which the sensor lens block and main camera brain section are secured. The Insta361RS's dimensions are comparable to the GoPro Hero 9 Black and 10 Black, yet its modular design makes it larger. It is also waterproof up to 5 meters, which is not nearly as much as a new GoPro but still noteworthy for this type of design. You should opt for the protective outer sheath if you plan to take your action camera near water. This classic shell provides an additional layer of security, as the two top pieces can be pulled away slightly without disconnecting the battery base. The case comes with a single flap on its side which safeguards the micro SD slot and USB-C connector mic adapter. The Insta361RS is designed to be reversible, so you can remain able to preview the footage no matter if you are shooting traditional or vlog style. It has two sockets on its inner side which allow it to connect to lens modules. Back in early 2020, the DJI Osmo Action allowed us to experience a dual display action camera option, which was very impressive. However, two generations of dual-screen GoPros have since been released and unfortunately, one of the trade-offs is a smaller preview image. The Insta361RS is a minute device possessing a 1.5-inch square screen, of which only part of the display is accessed for previewing widescreen video when shooting. Thus, the Insta361RS's display primarily serves as a resource for inspecting the shot framing and angle. While these are paramount elements, larger classic widescreen displays provide a greater comprehension of how your video will end up looking while it is being filmed. This renders the Insta361RS less thrilling to work with than a GoPro. One potential remedy is using the Insta360 app through your phone, thereby projecting its show as a preview image. This procedure is mainly simple. There is a slight delay because of wireless transmission, but in our tests, Insta360's link was much sturdier than the GoPro Hero 9 Black we constantly used for the duration of our review. When shooting with an action camera, you don't get the same sense of immediacy that you would when shooting directly from the camera. Additionally, it is unlikely that you will be able to successfully use a phone app in certain situations where you need an action camera. There is no in-camera stabilization available upon the release of the Insta361R, meaning you no longer need to use your phone to process and stabilize videos. Flow state, Insta360's stabilization, is employed by default in the majority of modes. However, there is a post mode that enables you to apply stabilization from your phone or PC application, though this mode is limited to 4K 30p. Flow State has been delivering great performance for a few years on the Insta361RS, effectively smoothing out high intensity motion, runners' footfalls, and a bicycle's rattles on uneven ground. Besides burst, interval delay, and night settings, a tripod is also needed for night photography. Further video modes involve time lapse, time shift, and slow mo. These two initial ones hasten activity. Using time lapse is suggested for incidents that transpire gradually, such as sundown, where the camera is left unchanged. You pick how frequently to acquire a frame, ranging from 30 seconds to one frame every two minutes. The leisurely use of time shift is probable. Treat it in a similar way to an ordinary video, and then pick your angle and rate in the Insta360 app on your device. Though GoPro performs better in this aspect by adaptively changing the momentum influenced by the screen time, Insta360's variant still furnishes you with the fundamentals and appears attractive when utilized. The image quality of the Insta361RS varies, depending on which lens and sensor combination you're using. You can swap out the default 4K camera, the long-standing 360-degree module, or even the 1-inch sensor module from the 1R. We reviewed the new 4K boost lens, which exacerbates the resolution from 12MP to 48MP in the old 4K wide-angle model. It is important to note what type of sensor this is. We don't know the exact details of the chip used in the Insta360, 
but it likely has a phone style sensor designed to present a 12 MP result with a quad bay array. Therefore, you shouldn't expect a huge improvement in detail compared to the Insta360 ONE R or GoPro Hero 10 Black.